Hey, hey, coming back to you for another uh, low-level cast for my newer players and uh, veteran players if you choose to watch. And in this one, I'm going to be playing as the super easy and powerful Wehrmacht here. <laughs> watch as I control the map easily with superior German firepower, yeah? <laughs> so right off the back, I'm going to go ahead and take a crash shoots in for capping speed. I'm going to take these engineers. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, fuel and muni started. Crash shoots is going to go ahead and cap the manpower. And I'm going to set up my first of uh, many Grenadier units. Uh, always make sure to build your bases on the edges. It's a little bit risky if they get a tank or AT gun late game, but it, this ensures that your units, as soon as they pop out, they're not walking from here to here. They're instantly heading out into the fight. Crash shoots is going to cap. And for this one, I'm going to go Breakthrough. Uh, with the last video, I showed what Breakthrough and how difficult it is to fight against as Brits. And this one, I'm going to be scummy. I'm going to take Breakthrough and show you how easy it is to win with it. Now, if somebody's wondering, you know, you showing how easy it is to play Breakthrough, wouldn't this uh, mess up the game for everybody else? Well, yeah, in a way it could. But I am trying to show other co-players, hey, it's not fair to be put up against this for such cheap infantry and uh, cheap muni cost. Again, with your Grenadiers, go ahead and make a sandbag. Because look at that. Yeah, I took a little bit of damage. It would have been way worse without the sandbag. But now, I'm going to cap this point and hold. There's green cover right here, yeah. But with Grenadiers, you want to stay at long range. Because long range against Brits, you're going to win that engagement. A lot of people complain about Grenadiers. Honestly, they're perfectly fine to me. They're not the best. They're like Conscripts from Code 2. And I like them. And check that out. I capped. My green cover's kicked in. The four models are nice and safe. And boom, Kratschutzen's going to cap. So importantly with the Kratschutzen build, make sure you are keeping him blocked while your Krad caps in the background. That's that's why the Krad is special. And I'm going to go ahead and reinforce that squad. And now I've got two models. With two squads, go ahead and press that engagement. I know I said keep it long range, but with two squads, you're going to win no matter what. Press him, get in the cover, and look at that DPS bleed on him. I'm winning this fight easily. I've got ten healthy models versus his five. He made a dingo, so it's a risky thing with the crad shoots in, is if he makes a dingo, it will kill it. Engineers are coming in. A lot of people, mainly Axis mains, cough, cough, complain about how overpowered these things are. Just run away from them. If you didn't win the fight, just get out of there, man. It's not the end of the world to retreat. I'm also going to go ahead and tech uh, infantry officer headquarters. It's very cheap. And here's the benefit. Now, I don't have to make a medical station, because these guys have med bags, so... I can hold that cost off, save that uh, manpower and fuel, get a third squad out, and they're veteran C1. And the benefits of it, they get a Panzerfaust. So now I can take on this dingo at three minutes. And the Brits are not going to get that option. So I lose my crash shoots, and not a big deal. I have Panzer Shreks. I'm healing up in base. I'm getting those auto heals. Look how fast they heal. Uh, I get grenades now. And on top of that, uh, I am getting... Unit is harder to hit and more accurate. And you're going to see how great it is at Veteran C1. And I just pay for that. Super easy because I took that crab and I capped the map and I have manpower to float. Go ahead and make sandbags with those engineers. And here's the uh, Brit engineers. I'm not stressing. Oh, look at that. They're so overpowered. The Brit engineers are just too good. Uh, okay. Tell me your Axis main without saying your Axis main. Here's that dingo. I fausted it. And now I killed it. And if you're uh, wondering how you could tell, the little engine crit sign you. So if you need to rewatch that, but look at those engineers. Okay, so pioneers aren't that good. I realize that. I'm gonna stick them behind cover and no stress. So I'm not gonna win this engagement. It doesn't matter if I win or lose. Uh, it matters how much model damage I did. So I'm, I can go back to them later. Gonna go ahead and retreat. The retreat button is always free. Again, map that retreat button to your mouse for. It's super easy and super easy uh, to click in a panic. So I'm moving for the cutoff. I realize I'm going to get bled. I'm going to go ahead and charge. Look at that sprint ability coming in. I'm going to close the gap. His rifles are useless. And I'm going to win. The sandbag I made earlier is still helping me out while I get the cap. I'm going to 2v1 that. And then I realize, hey, you know what? There's an MG. I'm not going to win, but I'm not stressed either. I'm going to get the decap before the MG uh, suppresses me and kicks me out. I'm going to shoot him in the back. Cover is directional. And look at these back shots. Keep your range. Don't close the gap, man. Unless... Unless, excuse me, you have a 2 to 1 ratio, then go ahead and press. That's what it's all about. And these grins are performing great. Look at that. You see the difference between without the Veteran C1 and with it? Super easy. But, but, engineers. Okay, cool. And there's the engineers I bled earlier. He can't fight me. I popped the MP40s. 
And another benefit, they maintain their long range with these MP40s. They do just as good, close, and medium, and long. I don't know why. Relic, apparently the Axis Armory was superior and they won World War II. I know a lot of Axis players think that. Yeah, it's re you know, Germany won World War II, actually. It's a big conspiracy and cover-up, yeah. We're not hiding in Venezuela or anything like that. No, no, not at all. Germany won. There is no Berlin Wall. There is no, you know, uh, <laughs> victory in Europe Day. Nothing like that at all. And because I'm doing so good with these Grenadiers, and they're so easy, I'm going to get a fourth. I'm going to go ahead and tech up into, um, excuse me, packs with the Panzer Grenadier Company. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't go, um, you know, what's it called, Panzer Shreks? I wanted, uh, at the time, a pack to guarantee a hit if there's a story out. The Panzer Shreks are good, but, you know, versus infantry spam, they're not going to last. So, again... Pressure, pressure, pressure. Take these cutoffs, man. I'm denying star. I'm sorry, not star. I'm denying fuel, munis, and this other muni over here if he's capped it. You know, keep pressuring these cutoffs. Here's the MG that didn't suppress me. Get those nades. And look at that damage, man. Look at the Axis nades. Compare the uh, Brit nades to the Axis nades, and look how easy that is. Fucking cheese, my guy. You're a cheesy boy. And that's why I'm playing like this, because there are people in denial on the kill forms right now, and they're swearing up and down. It's so hard to play Wehrmacht, and it's not. And if you're going, well, you know, if somebody's going, well, uh, you know, you picked a specific commander. It's just as easy with, um, what's it called, Airborne Luftwaffe, because you can make two um, Grenadier squads, one airdrop um, Falsham Pioneer, and you can merge these Grins into the Falsham Pioneer, and they're going to win these uh, against these Brits every time. At all ranges. So again, here's the Brits, right? Stay away from them. Keep that range. Get behind green cover. You're gonna win the fight if you keep your range. Use the engineers to cap. Don't be idle. Keep pushing. And look at that. Munis are coming over time. Take your time. Munis will get to you. I'm gonna go ahead put pressure on these v uh, manpower points again. So I can keep floating manpower, keep steamrolling. I'm going to get my first pack out because I feel like there's a Humber or Stuart coming. And there's the Humber. I was going to snare. I cancel it because I can get, always get him later. And his delayed reaction told me I can snare him pretty easy. So MP40's kicking ass. Look at that shit. MG's setting up. Oh no. I'm debating on uh, running away. I should have hit the sprint button, but it's not the end of the world. And there's the pack. Look at that. That was one shot from the pack. Veteran C1. I'm sorry, no, no veteran C yet, but we'll get there. But one shot, no veteran C, so my point's proven even more. And look at that, I'm just going to retreat. It's not the end of the world. I have more map control. He has a little bit of munis, and I've kept him from teching up uh, by cutting off his muni supply. So no stress. I've already gotten field medics now because I was floating manpower. And now I can heal in base and save these med kits for the field and keep them out longer. And look at that. Doing so well. Now I get a rate of fire increase and unit is even harder to hit even more so than the veteran c1 so they're going to do better at close range and long range check that out again i see a lot of players for some reason stop and get in the cover don't stop if you see him about the decap press him get in his face don't lose the decap because it only benefits him and it delays you so next i'm going to go stug i highly recommend the stug i see a lot of players avoid it because the stug for some reason as an anti-tank can kill infantry very easily Again, I guess the German army was the best fucking army in the world at World War II, and we did not win because, man, the Germans have it so fucking easy. You're blobbing! You're absolutely right. I have to walk out of base. I control all this shit over here. I need one squad there, and I know he's stacking up over here, so I'm going to go ahead and blob out of base. There's a Stug I highly recommend. Again, go ahead and vet it up because of Veteran C1. Let's check that stats. Increase accuracy and acceleration. You also get point blank shot, which wipes infantry, and we're going to show you that example. Here's his MG. Get behind cover if you see it. And look at that. That's a, he fired those suppressing shots, didn't even suppress me. I'm going to use the Stug to charge him. Veteran C1 kicks in. I've teched up the turret. It's going to wipe those infantry fast. I'm going to flank around with the sprint ability and kill the MG. So like in the last match, I said, hey, don't go MGs. This is a prime example why, as Brits, you don't want to do it. The 600 fire rate ain't cutting it, homie. So there um with the panzer faust look at that shit look how much damage it does that is two-thirds of its health gone 
two thirds gone. And now the stug, like the fucking Jaws movie, done, 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 done. Smells blood in the water. Look at that shit. Oh no, I missed. The stug is so inaccurate. Some person in the co forms. Okay, cool. And then I kill him the second shot. But you missed the first shot, not the end of the fucking world. And now, check out this infantry killing ability. If you see this, run. If you see this little thing, because you're dead. Now watch this damage. Boom! Fucking shotgun! And my original, we're dying. We're dying a terrible, terrible death. And Mufasa's mad. You fucking ability! <laughs> I made this little dickhead mad. Oh, fucking, oh. I'm only calling him names, because if you're going to curse at me in chat, I'm going to be a dickhead, too. I'm going to be mean to you. I'm going to have fun with you. Fucking ability, but I do agree with him. It's fucking bullshit. Here's the MG. Oh, no. A MG. But it's a Brit MG, so it sucks ass. Let's get away. There's an AT gun. Just back out. There's This is where this mouse 4 uh, benefit from remapping your keys come from. I instantly hit mouse 4. I back out. Super easy with the remaps. Instead of, uh, I think you have to hit the R key. So I don't even have to look at my keyboard. I just feel my mouse reverse out. But you gotta love it, though. And this is why that last match, if you watch it, with uh, me going up against MP40 spam, I, I'm not gonna go MGs. It's not worth it. So if you're wondering why I'm not pressing him, I want to bleed him at long range. He's tr He thinks he's keeping me back, but I'm playing the long game here. He's gonna late retreat, and you're gonna see how low these models get. Because he's like, I'm, I'm denying you munis, ha ha ha. And it's like, alright, bitch, guess what? I'm gonna run with you on retreat. We're gonna fucking hold hands back to base. And look at this hand holding. It's fucking extreme. He's trying to get away from me. Hey, Reginald, run. Run, my dear boy. And I almost wipe him. Look at that model bleed. So close. Oh, here's the Gurkhas. I see a lot of you Axis mains in the co-forms bitching about Gurkhas. Well, let me tell you something. There's a retreat button. But the Gurkhas are overpowered. Not really. Not really. 320 manpower plus 60 and 75 to get those Brins or Thompsons versus my 50 and cheaper infantry. But Gurkhas are overpowered. They're really not. They're extremely not. They're very easy to deal with. Now, it's if you new players are having trouble struggling, I'm not make, making fun of you whatsoever. It's for the Axis Hardcore mains that I assume sound like this. The lack of female contact in their lives has convinced them that the German army was superior. It's what me and the uh, lead scientist are thinking. Uh, again, like that last video, the lack of vagina with Axis mains is very severe. They have to resort to body pillows to make up for it. So, now, if you're wondering why I'm not retreating, because my retreat path is going to take me down through here. He's not going to cut me off. Gurkhas haven't popped, and I'm going to go ahead and get this muni cap. And look, I'm still maintaining my long range with the um, three KR-98s. One now, because it's a poor model. Here's the MG set up. I just walk past it. Here comes the Stug. Watch the shotgun Stug do work. Gurkhas are overpowered, my friend. Microsoft telephone phone call. Please do not shoot heat at me. My friend, my friend. And look at look at that fucking damage. I wasn't even aiming at the Gurkhas. The game just auto-targeted. And look at that, bro. This is an anti-tank gun. Oh, but Axis bias doesn't exist. You're full of fucking shit. If somebody's gonna defend this right now. Look, look, and he drops. And he drops. He didn't even want to stick it out. My guy had still had 308 points left. But because he went expensive Gurkhas, uh, one anti-tank gun. This is why you want to go Stuart, by the way. Because the Humber's not cutting it. The one anti-tank gun was probably walking over here. But every time he shoots me, I'm going to back out. I'm going to instant repair with my engineers. And I'm not stressed. But this video, again, if you're thinking, ah, you're going to create a terrible meta for us. I'm sorry. But it has to be shown. Uh, because it's, it's not fair. It's not fair as an allied player dealing with this and i wasn't even trying I, I was texting and watching tv during this match because how easy it is to play axis now the guy i was facing against i believe he's a low rank i couldn't find his rank on the co-forms and that sucks because um that's gonna take my credibility down but i was hoping you know he might, might be in the higher ranks because again it's easy to play as this and if you're going, you're not even good, you're absolutely right. I'll say that again. I'm not going to beat my chest and go on an amazing co-player. I'm your average Joe just like you guys. You hop on the game, you want to have a fun time, but this isn't my only game. I go to Hell Let Loose. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I play Gears of War. Uh, what, what else? Fucking Battlefield. But I enjoy this game a lot, though. It's pretty fun. So... For my average players, again, once again, this is for you guys. For the pros, you guys have your tournaments. Keep your shit. That's awesome. Um, you know, some of you are cool dudes, I have no doubt. But 
for the majority of us that are down to earth that um, don't have supercomputer brains and the ability to eat Cheetos all day and never leave the computer, this is bullshit. This is 100% bullshit. And there's not much the Brit guy could have done because he let me take control of the map. And again, if you want to cross-reference and see how to deal with it, watch the other video, you know, to see how oppressing it is to deal with this shit. Because these MP40 grins are just too good, man. And uh, somebody's going to be like, you're whining. No, I played the faction. Very easy, very relaxing. And boom, once again. Uh, also, if you're going Wehrmacht, build these sandbags, man. Your grins suck early game. But as soon as you get those sandbags down, they're going to be like conscripts in Code 2 behind cover. They're going to be good. And you're going to win. Now, uh, sorry, I'm trying to cover a lot. The match was really short. 13 minutes, right? 13 minutes to end this. If you're wondering why I didn't go straight to tanks, and I paid the 50, think, think, 55 fuel to go Jaegers, I wanted more flexibility and more DPS. The Jaeger squad with Shreks, uh, you met... I didn't show it, but it still wipes infantry. It wiped an infantry model with, you know, one guy left and a decent amount of health with one Shrek. So Shreks are still good at killing tanks and anti-infantry. This is one of the only squads in the game, other than um, the Panzerbusch squad from DAC, that is great at killing infantry and tanks. So, you know, always go these guys. Get that flexibility. And um, if he's spamming the recce packages like he should have, the Jaegers are going to outclass them every fucking time. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, Wehrmacht, easy. There's not much more to say. Now, if you would like to, send it to your, uh, you know, friendly Code 3 forums. Have them take a look-see. Make sure the Wehrmacht main see this. Tell them, uh, easy mode access. You know, get under their skin. Let's get these Wehrmacht players fucking heated, my guy, because these guys are in fucking denial. They're cheesy, motherfuckers, I say. <laughs> Alright, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop before I keep rolling. Alright, you guys have a good day.